my channel, New Food for a New Mood. Today's dish was requested by B W three fifteen. Yeah, I'm talking about you. To make Shui Zhu Niu Rou, which means Sichuan boiled beef. This is a very classic Sichuan dish, and we are going to use lots of spices to make it fragrant, peppery, numbing, spicy, and extremely tasty. I got one and a half pounds of a thin sliced beef chunk roll in the store, but honestly, I think the beef is too chewy after cooked. Um, so actually, I found out afterwards that I should have used the the joint, the uh sirloin joint, which has better texture. Just for your information, well, the beef has been taken out from freezer for 30 minutes, but they are still hard. So let's prepare other stuff first, then come back to the beef later. Here I have a Chinese lettuce stem, and I'm going to discard the root. First, let's peel off the skin. Although lettuce stem is not a common vegetable in Western countries, it has a great crispy, fresh taste and a pure green color. Now that I have peeled off all the skin, let's cut it into long strips. Cut, turn, cut, turn. This way the stem can absorb the flavor completely. Besides lettuce stem, I also have some bean sprouts. They will go great together with the beef. If you use lettuce or cabbage, it will be delicious as well. Now, let's go check out the beef. They have defrosted. I'm going to marinate with a pinch of salt, 5 spice powder, white pepper, and half teaspoon of olive oil. Mix well. Prepare a pot of boiling water. Pour lettuce stem and sprouts into the hot water. Cook for a minute, then take them out. Strain out the excess water, then transfer to a large serving bowl because we need to leave some space for the beef later. Uh, sorry about the camera going out of the focus. Here we go. Back to the stove, add more canola oil than we normally add. Here I added about a quarter cup. On medium low heat, add ginger and fry until it becomes fragrant. Then turn down the heat to low, add dried stir pepper, peppercorn, and star anise. Fry for about half a minute. A peppery, spiciness aroma should be completely filling off your kitchen at this point. Next, pour in a big scoop of chili bean paste, dou ban jiang, and keep stir frying them for a minute. You might think that I added too much oil in my dish, but this is Sichuan food, so you need to add quite a lot of oil in this dish. As you can see, the oil is mixing with bean paste and turning red. Now, pour a big bowl of water and turn up the heat to high, bringing it to a boil. Once it starts boiling, turn off the heat to stop the soup from boiling any longer. I do this because I want the beef to cook evenly. Add the slices of beef one by one. Do not throw them all at once, otherwise they will stick together like a big ball. Once you've put all the beef in the wok, turn up the heat and let them cook until you see no raw meat at all. Remove the beef to the serving bowl, put them on top of the lettuce stem and sprouts, and pour in some soup. I know it smells great, but we're not quite done yet. The next step is my favorite. Put a bunch of chili flakes and fine chopped garlic on the top. Now, prepare one frying pan. Heat 3 tablespoons of cooking oil. It's hard to tell through the camera, but when you see some smoke, you need to remove it from heat. 
then pour the oil on the dish. Wow, listen, it's my favorite part. And last, decorate the dish with some cilantro, and our Sichuan boiled beef is done. It's pretty flavorful and tasty, but like I said at the beginning, I wish that I used the sirloin joint uh, to have a more tender texture. That's the only regret for today's dish. Thanks for watching. If you make this dish or other dishes from my videos or website, please send me some pictures either on Facebook or Instagram. I love to see how it turns out. Also, go to my website to check more details, including step-by-step -step pictures and measurements. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. New food for your new mood. I will see you in the next one. Bye!